What's up? How are you guys this week? It is Free Range Meat vlog number 10, if my memory serves me right. And it is also Thanksgiving week, so I'm gonna be a little slow. We're sending out all the packages today, Tuesday, and we, uh, we were just putting stuff away yesterday since our ice delivery is today now. Uh, we were just getting all the meat orders ready. We couldn't actually ship most of them out, but all the eggs were sent out yesterday. We sent all the foods orders out yesterday, so you guys should be getting your packages hopefully Wednesday, if not by the end of the week, Friday, Saturday. My guys got all the meat orders boxed up over here. We're doing some more. Got a chocolate delivery. I was thinking of doing some regular cookie dough with like raw butter and the corn and soy free eggs. We might do that this week, I don't know. Just like your classic chocolate chip cookies, just with like really high quality organic ingredients. I, I was trying to think of ways that we could use up some of the butter, uh, but we have been giving away the butter, so. Most of the dairy is sold, we just have some kefir left. This was where that butter was, so, you know, we're giving away one butter free with every order, maybe this week and next week, so. Maybe we'll be able to go through some of it. I just posted some shorts today on like the pickles, the jardiniera, and the sauerkraut. I'm thinking I might order the produce in and we might get the next batch started this week of the, of the sauerkraut and pickles and stuff. I'm debating it. Might as well because I, we don't have that much to do. So in the freezer here, the, uh, the meat delivery is over there on the two pallets. these uh, boxes over here is is all those things we've been making for the past week guys this is the the chicken stock very high quality we got beef stock we got beef barley stew we got plain chicken stew we have plain beef stew so really you know a wide selection of, of prepared foods for you guys a ton of chicken way too much chicken and we also got way too many turkeys. Uh, some of you guys might have ordered the chicken share and you might have got sent the wrong stuff. So if you didn't get the full chicken share, please just email me so we can issue a refund. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be one whole chicken, six breasts, and then two packages each of the thighs, drumsticks, and wings. So if you guys didn't get that in the chicken share, uh, just email us and we'll make sure to refund you and then we'll send it out. Uh, correctly moving forward. My guys are just a little confused because we were sending out the laying hen meat, which we're no longer doing. So now the chicken share is just our regular broiler chicken, just discounted by about 20%. Guys, I'm basically giving food away. I'm going, I'm giving away all that butter because I'm trying to help the Amish farmer. Everything's so discounted. We got way too many turkeys. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that because I don't, I don't think we're really gonna sell that many for Thanksgiving. And I, I did a pretty big price reduction, but we'll see how it goes. So I got the uh, meat invoice here. And the main things we're restocking are pork bacon, which is big, beef bacon, and uh, some por ground pork as well. And then there's just a few miscellaneous things here and there, like uh, lamb burgers, sweetbreads, rabbit liver, eye round roast, pork fat, veal liver, the vet steaks. But, but those two main things are the, the beef bacon, the pork bacon, and we're gonna do some ground Iberical pork. And I'm, I'm debating on sending the, how loud is that tape going? Can you guys even hear me? I'm debating on sending the, some of the pork trim to the butcher and having him make some more sausage, but I don't know. I don't know what's up with that uh, used restaurant guy. He's saying he's supposed to come the past few weeks now. I'm waiting on some more steel tables and a, a platform truck. But well, he's an older guy, so I'm guessing he's not feeling 100% up to it. Uh, over here in the warehouse, we have uh, how another pallet of water is ready to ship out. That's really it. There's not much to show you guys today. I gotta stay on top of this cooler inventory a little better. I was looking into like the getting the coolers from Chinese suppliers, but a little too expensive to ship it over here. You yeah, guys, I think that's it for the Tuesday vlog. Probably gonna be maybe one of the quicker or slower vlogs. Maybe we'll find some stuff to do on the on the weekend. I was thinking of a way to to sell those turkeys. Maybe we can like roast them and then. Uh, break up the meat and then make a turkey gravy and sell it as like turkey and gravy, but that is a lot of work. Maybe if we get all the equipment set up in here, 
early next year we can start doing that if, if we still haven't moved. I think we'll do that early next year if we still haven't liquidated the turkeys. Start selling banquet TV dinners. I'm going to lose my fucking mind, guys. I'll see you guys for, uh, for tomorrow, Wednesday. All right, guys. It is Saturday. I have my list of excuses here about why I didn't film the other days. <laughs> Wednesday, we didn't have much going on, to be honest. Thursday was Thanksgiving. And uh, yesterday, Friday, I almost had a stroke because our shipping company didn't tell us that they don't really do much on Thanksgiving. So I'm getting calls from my Amish farmer in the morning and he's like, oh, where's the pickup? I'm like, wait, they didn't come. And then I called up the, the shipping company and they were like nonchalant, relaxed, like, oh yeah, we're not really working today. And I was like, <laughs> so I took, uh, thankfully I have a, another trucker I know out there that was able to, to bring us the dairy and everything uh, Saturday this morning. So uh, we have everything ready for next week. Although it was uh, a little stressful. A little stressful. Good thing it's cold outside and there's not much of a perishable issue. Uh, I just have some reviews here I was going to read real quick. Uh, five star review for the Flextrose Glucose Powder. Really great. The purity and quality of this stuff is unbeatable as far as what I have found on the market. Yeah, another one of my genius ideas. Unfortunately, I am shadow banned. Five star review for the Grasshood Beef Tallow. Freaking delicious. I can't believe how good this stuff is. It tastes way better than the other tallows I've tried. Yeah, maybe a lot of them are making like big commercial batches and they're burning it a bit or maybe it's just heated too long. Five star review for the pasture raised turkey corn and soy free. Beautiful tasty meat. This is my first pasture raised turkey. While prepping the raw turkey I noticed it had a terrific fresh smell to it unlike other birds I've prepped. After cooking the meat was wonderful. I never had a turkey like it before. It's terrific. And then a five star review for the Iberico pork bacon. Cannot stop ordering this bacon. Fantastic bacon. Tastes amazing with honey with a fried egg over rice. Yeah. Uh, we have the pork bacon back in stock as well as the beef bacon. We were sold out for about two weeks. The turkeys, uh, I mean, you guys don't really seem to want them, uh, like any at all. And we, we have so many, I mean, besides Thanksgiving. So I don't know how many turkeys people are going to really order for New Year's. We have like turkey parts, which I'm sure people will buy because they're going to be pretty affordable. But uh, I, I might do a giveaway. Uh, with the turkeys to my customers who spent the most this year. And I, we have quite a bit, so uh, I, I think there's gonna be probably 70 or 80 turkeys that I'm gonna have to end up giving away because, you know, they're still fresh. So I'd, I'd rather give them out when the meat's fresh and it's good and, and uh, you know, kinda, you know, last year we did a, or earlier this year, I did a just a credit giveaway. You know, I gave our, our best customers like $150, $200 credit on a future order. Um, so that was just credit this time. Uh, since we have these extra turkeys, I think we'll just, I mean, it's about a hundred dollar value in the turkey. So uh, we'll, we'll send out an email. And if you guys don't want the turkey, you can just say no and we'll give it to the next person down on the list because I'm sure, you know, we're going to have, you know, X amount of customers that spent whatever amount. And then we just go down from whoever spent the most. Uh, that's who's going to get the turkeys. Uh, but we'll probably keep the smaller turkeys for uh, sale on the website because, you know, the 12 or 13 pound birds aren't going to be more than $100. So it is an affordable price point. As usual, my organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals Corner is a bit of a mess of products. So the main thing over here is that we restocked the smaller pemmican bars, two ounces. And now that we have the smaller molds, uh, we should be able to do like uh, the granola bars in two ounces and even the the plain pemmican in two ounces so although the 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 large pemmican right now it's cheaper on the website maybe i need to show up to some of you guys and uh chuck them at you so you buy them but uh the pemmican is definitely cheaper than replacing your window but uh, point is two ounce blueberry honey pemmican back available on the website so our beef shipment came in with the farm stuff. We have a lot of local ground beef and we have pet food. So this pet food is like two and a half pound packages. It's gonna be around $5 a pound. And then we're gonna have the, uh, the ground beef is actually 1.2 pound packages. So it's gonna be cheap. It's gonna be $8 a pound, but since it's a heavier package, not the typical one pound, it's gonna be like 10 or $12. <laughs> Got 
got a lot of stuff here in the fridge. I don't know if we're gonna have time to, to do these organic uh, organic pickles. I thought my guys didn't have much to do this week. Uh, so I, I, I placed a produce order. We got some, those limes look really good. Look at those, look how green that lime is. It's like the greenest lime I've ever seen. Anyway, those look pretty good. Just some dill for the pickles. And the, the lemon, lime and oranges, we're gonna make some water kefir. All the dairy came in. We got a lot of milk this week, a lot of kefir. Uh, more butter than I know what to do with. I'm gonna have a stroke. I'm gonna go, well, I'm gonna have a stroke and go broke. And we got all the eggs in too. Chicken eggs, chicken eggs, chicken eggs. This is our uh, corn and soy free turkey breast. We're gonna roast tomorrow. Yeah, you guys didn't order the turkey breast that much the first week. And then like the next week of Thanksgiving, I didn't make as much because, you know, if you guys don't order it, I'm not gonna make it. And we like really sold out. So I do wanna apologize. There were quite a few orders last week that did not get uh, their turkey breast. So we issued a refund. Uh, if you guys want, just email us. We'll try to give you one for free on your next order. But it's kind of, it's kind of hard to keep track of that type of stuff. So here in the freezer, we have our, our whole tenderloins back in stock. Some of you guys want like a bargain uh, to cut your own steaks. We got a lot of the bone marrow butter. Basically just pure bone marrow cylinders. My uh, farmer sent me even more chicken, which I am definitely not able to pay him for. Here's the uh, beef bacon we restocked. We got veal sweetbreads. Veal sweetbreads, pancreas is back available. We got some lamb burgers. This is more of the uh, beef bacon. More chicken, like we need more chicken. So here we have the Iberico pork skin. I think this is six or seven dollars on the website for half a pound. If you wanna make chicharron, uh, that comes from the bacon, the Iberico pork bacon, which as I said several times is back available. And we finally got some pork trim to make some uh, reasonable ground pork that's not super, super fatty. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of pork bacon back in stock. Uh, let me show you guys the uh, the cookie dough. I did a video, so I did like a YouTube short on it yesterday. Cookie, cookie, cookie. So here is the cookie dough raw and organic. Uh, explain that you know we're using the raw butter in here the pasteurized eggs I didn't even melt the butter we just let the butter get to room temperature mix it in with organic sugar organic flour organic vanilla sea salt highest quality cookie dough that money can buy and at only $15 I consider that a bargain because if you go to the store even like the healthy natural cookie doughs are about the same price and they're not using organic ingredients and they surely are not using pasteurized corn and soy free eggs and raw butter and we didn't put any baking soda or chemicals in this either so they're not going to rise like typical cookies but they'll still be delicious some of you guys were asking me for a recipe like it's just it's just cookies dude like you put cookies in the oven at like 350 or 375 depending on you know, if you like them like darker or not, and then you just let them go 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on your oven. Like, it's, like if you guys want me to give you a cookie recipe, like it's, it's not rocket science, you know? And, and, and the oven thing is big. Like if I tell you guys, you know, 375 for 12 minutes, someone might have raw cookies, someone might have burnt cookies. You know, did they preheat the oven? Did they not preheat the oven? So for the, for the cooking the cookies, guys, uh, want some common sense, common sense. We'll see how popular that is. Uh, the reason I made that was because, you know, we have all that extra butter. So instead of just giving the butter away, at least I can, I can break even, make my money back with the cookie dough. But um, yeah, no, that's the, the, the sourcing on those ingredients, guys, getting everything organic and that organic chocolate, it's just, it's so, so expensive. So expensive to do. I think that's everything to show you guys today. Uh, we're just getting all that ground beef and pet food put away. So local ground beef is going to be back available on the website. The pet food is going to be 
that's a big restock. We've been so, we haven't had really pet food for over a year now. I think back when we were in the Bronx, I remember we had some that we had to we just threw it out. Um, the chicken pet food especially. So I'm happy that we like officially have legitimate pet food, which is, it's basically just all the organs ground up. So uh, the butcher did the beef. We got the ground beef. We got the steaks from it, and then he took all the organs from the animal and just ground them up. Uh, so. Uh, we should have a uh, uh, a decently affordable uh, pet food, raw grass-fed pet food for you guys now. And that, that's the difficult part. Like, you can find raw pet food, you can find meat, but to get it grass-fed and affordable, I'm probably just doing you guys a favor. But hey, look, when I'm broke on a beach in five years, because I had a str uh, I'm, I'll stop complaining for today. Uh, uh, we also have liverwurst. Plain beef liverwurst. Limited amount, very limited amount. And some of you might be wondering what's actually in liverwurst. It's very simply meat and fat and a little salt. That's all it is. There's no liver in liverwurst, there's no organs, there's no spices, there's no seasonings, nothing added. Liverwurst, you cook the bones from the cow and then you take all the meat and fat, you blend it up, and that's the liverwurst. That's basically it. It's cooked, it's cooked bone scraps from the cow. So we're trying to utilize like the whole animal there with the liverwurst. So, but it is very labor intensive and limited amount and difficult to make. So from that local beef, we just have liverwurst, ground beef, and pet food basically. And he probably charged me too much, so we're gonna have to add up all the inventory of everything, see what we can sell it for, and see if I. Probably can't pay him the full price. This butcher has been giving me a stroke. Uh, yeah, so a few new things on the website now. Cookie dough, we're gonna restock the pet food. We're gonna have the local ground beef back. Uh, we got the pork skin back. There's chickens, there's a lot, a lot of new stuff. Uh, we restocked the chicken fat, but someone bought it all immediately because very, very limited amount of chicken fat that we'll have available. Also, we did a short yesterday on the Black Friday sale. I mean, I already have discounts on my businesses, so like when you guys are placing larger orders anyway, you get a larger discount than the sale is, but uh, I just put a 5% off all the businesses, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals, and then for the meat website, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep giving away the butter for the next week or two, uh, just to kind of make a dent in our butter inventory. Uh, so that's gonna be the Black Friday for the meat business, just continuing the free raw butter. And then on the foods website, I don't know if we're gonna uh, do this. I, I couldn't think of something I wanted to do. Maybe uh, maybe next week or the week after, or maybe in sometime in December, we'll do a, a little giveaway on the foods website. I just need to, to have extra of something because uh, we're kind of running short on all the bars. So I think what I'll try to do is uh, maybe next time when we make a fresh batch of the Tatomi's cookie bars, maybe we'll give one away with every order. I don't know. I can like maybe give get some extra tons of chocolate. You guys really like this. It's not you guys haven't been buying it all, but the few people that have been buying this chocolate have really liked it. So maybe we'll maybe we'll give that away. Uh, probably probably a bad idea. I'll probably go broke giving away two thousand dollars worth of chocolate. But uh, I mean everything's going okay uh, financially. We're not we're not too great because uh, we we overbought the turkeys and the laying hen chicken it's it's not good we're probably probably in a bad spot through early next year but I, I keep telling these amish people like look i can buy it but i can't pay you i need to wait to sell it to pay you and then they're asking me for mon the money the next week so it's i just at some point i have to say no that's enough complaining for one day uh cooking oil potato chips we might have to throw them out in a week or so but uh, I think he's gonna make us the, we're gonna make another batch of beef fat potato chips because you guys seem to want those more. So those might be coming in a few weeks, but I'll see you guys for tomorrow, Sunday. All right, guys, it is Sunday. Not too much going on, but I will read a few reviews to get started that I got yesterday in my emails. Five star review for the A2A2 heavy cream sour cream. Best cream, much better quality than the raw cream from the health food stores. Best ice cream from the cream. Uh, yeah, we get all of the dairy fresh in from the Amish farmer every week, so you know it's kind of important that you guys buy it every week, so we can keep it coming in fresh, and so we don't, so I don't hemorrhage too much money. 
Five star view for the A282 Fresh Farm Butter. This is the best butter my family has ever consumed. The butter has a strong flavor and very smooth consistency. We use this butter for most of our cooking and all of our baking now. My kids love taking small spoonfuls right from the container. We are 100% satisfied and will continue to use this product. I mean, that's as natural as the butter gets. You know, the Amish farmers, they raise the cows, they're on grass, they make the butter by hand themselves, and we sell it to you. We got a five-star view for the mineralizing tooth powder. It feels good to brush my teeth with it. I prefer this to regular toothpaste. Since I started using it, my teeth have been less sensitive to hot and cold drinks. Yeah, the magnesium, calcium, K2, very important for the, the enamel health. Five-star view for the Masticum Kios Mastica. Uh, this is on organsupplements.com. Masticum, this stuff always helps settle my stomach. It keeps my tract and gut good to go through the day. It's even helped my dad with acid relief. Yeah, we have the original Masticum pebbles that you can grind into powder. And we just got in the Masticum capsules now. So you just take a few capsules with your meal and you're good to go. I've been taking them with every meal for the past few years. If I didn't discover it, I'd definitely be having a lot more difficult time fixing my digestive and liver issues. And then I, I sent out like an email last week, like my old Thanksgiving recipes that I did a few years ago and someone responded, bro, your turkey was incredible. Best turkey I have ever had. And that video was titled dry brine turkey with the best gravy. Um, also on, on the meat website, frankiestrangemeat.com, if you go to the, the news page, there's like three blogs there. The most recent blog is just those Thanksgiving recipes compiled all together. Uh, we did the turkey with gravy, we did the stuffing, we did prime rib, mashed potatoes, and apple pie. So even though it's not Thanksgiving, we have you know, uh, a few other recipes you might want to do for New Year's or Thanksgiving. Uh, not Thanksgiving, um, Christmas or New Year's. But let me show you guys what's going on today. Still haven't really slept. I figured out it was uh, the B1, the thymine, but like I'm, I'm feeling better. So, well, I don't think it's the copper still. I think we kind of, I think my copper levels have lowered a bit. Although I got some blood work and I think they lost my blood work because I never got the results. So I might have to go back, but I might not have time this week because I got to go visit the farm we might be buying. So my guys have been busy all day. These are all the egg orders that we're shipping out tomorrow. So we take them out, pack them up, get them back in the fridge, and then we ship them out first thing Monday. I think we showed you guys everything in the fridge yesterday. There's nothing else. Uh, you know, we, we packed up that pallet of eggs for the most part. Guys, please buy this butter. I think I got like $10,000 worth of butter. I'm gonna have a stroke. <laughs> So most of yesterday, we just got a ton of the pork bacon packaged up. Uh, this is a really popular product, the Iberico pork bacon. I mean, no one else is selling this online. You know, you can't get this quality meat, especially pork. Yeah, and then we have all the beef bacon restocked as well. Yeah, I showed you guys pretty much everything new yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna send out an email with like an update on everything uh, just to keep you guys posted. We got the fresh ground beef, we got the pet food back, all that's going to go in an email that I'm sending out Sunday. So if you guys aren't signed up uh, to the Frankie's Strange Meat newsletter, definitely do it because I don't always include everything in these vlogs. And a lot of time we get new products or things come in stock and, and the first thing I do is send out an email. So uh, I think that's going to be it for this week. Yeah, so we got the small two ounce pemmican bars back in stock. I think next week we're gonna also have two ounce plain pemmican. And then uh, in the upcoming few weeks, I'm going to try to maybe just get a, a few things back in stock that we've been missing. Uh, one big one is the hot dogs. I mean, the hot dogs never really sold that good, but uh, I wanna try like a new recipe, like instead of using like organic spices, I'm gonna use orga the actual organic vegetables. So, uh, that might be that might be really tasty and delicious so maybe by the middle end of December uh, we'll have I mean I already think we sold the best hot dogs to ever exist that's my personal uh, objective opinion not subjective objective they, they were the best and highest quality hot dogs to ever exist uh, but I think uh, I can take it up a step further and I think we'll try that for a batch 
So since, since it's not USDA, we're gonna do another beef share and just turn the whole, it's like weird, like you could sell the beef share if people email you before, and then if you turn the whole beef into hot dogs, like you're technically just selling hot dogs, it doesn't make sense to me, but that's what the USDA wants. So we're gonna turn the whole cow into hot dogs and sell the hot dogs as the beef share. So um, anyway, enough rambling on. Yeah, those two main things that we really needed back in stock, the fresh local beef, you guys can get in the ground beef section now, and um, and the pet food, something you guys are missing a lot of. So you guys, we might not do a vlog this week. Uh, I might just take a little break for a week or two. Um, but uh, more reason for you guys to sign up to the newsletter, stay updated.